Joining me now is Maria Hernandez, a student at Mountain View High School. Welcome. Thanks. We always love to have students on our show because it gives our audience kind of an insight into students' lives and experiences. And you have one of the most interesting lives I, I think I've ever heard from a student. Tell us a little bit about your life before you came to this country. Well, my life before coming to this country was difficult because uh, I had a large family. I'm from a large family. Uh, we are eight sisters and four brothers. Oh, 12 siblings. 12 oh siblings. Goodness. So I didn't have the opportunities that I was looking for. I was not independent as I wanted to be. And I didn't have the opportunities to go to high school or to go to farther away my studies. So mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons that I decided to come to the United States. So you came from El Salvador and lived with a family member, correct? Correct. And then, how did you find Mountain View uh, Alternative School? I found it through my friend. I used to work at McDonald's at that time. Okay. And um, one of my friends told me that she was going to high school, and that time I was so desperate because I, I was not going to any school mm -hmm. uh, because of my situation that I was, uh, I didn't have my parents to support me. Mm -hmm. So she told me that Mountain View was a great high school that offered many new opportunities for Latin people especially mm -hmm. and for anybody that wanted to uh, get an education. So I was uh, wondering what it was like and so that's how I started getting interested. And what have you found since you've become a student at Mountain View? I found great people. Uh. People that told me that no matter how low was my English, I always could make it stronger mm -hmm. and become the person that I wanted to be. Mm, that's wonderful. And in addition to going to school, and you will graduate in June, correct? Correct. Uh, you work uh, 20 to 30 hours a week at a local restaurant? Yes. Oh my goodness. How do you, how do you balance work and studies like that? I balance it only by the strength that God gives me. All I do is pray to him to give me the strength that many times I don't have. There are times that I feel depressed because I don't have my parents or, or I don't have anybody else who can support me or tell me that I had to keep it up. Mm -hmm. So I pray to him and then after a while I feel like I'm new and I know that I have him besides me mm -hmm. that can support me in anything. And so as you move forward after you graduate, what are your plans? My plans are to go to college, mm -hmm. keep working, and get a degree. And what do you think you want to major in? A doctor. Oh, you want to yes. become a doctor? I want to become a doctor. And why? Many reasons. In my Latin community, there are many families that do need a help from a doctor, or many of them don't have Medicaid or don't have the opportunities that Americans do. Mm -hmm. and as I told you before, I have a large family, and I would like to help them too, to uh, provide them the health care that they don't have mm -hmm. or that they might need in the future, or to those poor families back in my country. If I can <coughs> do it in this country, I might just go back to my country and do it mm. back there. Mm, that would be a wonderful contribution. Yes. So Mountain View really isn't, um, sometimes it's, seen as a school that um, is for kids who have discipline problems, but it's quite the opposite. Um, a lot of kids probably share similar challenges to yours. Have you found that to be yes, true? Yes, I have many times. I see many kids that I ask them, why are you a Mountain View? Because I heard this many times before that they say that many kids come to Mountain View because they got in trouble, they got expelled from different high mm -hmm. school, from their base school. And I asked them, and many of them told me that because they want to learn English. They want to get a high school education and go to college. Mm -hmm. And because some of them also are pregnant or they have kids already, mm -hmm. they are parents. So they are looking for an, an opportunity, mm -hmm. just like me. It's a wonderful success story. And what, what advice would you give other students who may be struggling? That do not give up. Giving up is not the only choice. Giving up is yes, a big mistake that you can always make. Always think about your decisions and think that high school is just the first step. Mm. And keep it up. And then once you finish high school, you will see the doors opening for you in the future. And that's something that every kid, especially my Latin fellows, 
should think about it, not just come to this country and work. And I know that family is something very important, but you have to think about yourself first, and then what will you provide for your family later on? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I think. That's wonderful advice, Maria. Thank you for sharing that with You're us. You're welcome.